Hello. Jane Mott. How is everyone? Hope you're all safe, safe at home and not getting too stir crazy. I'm a little bit late with my makeup today, um, but I want to do some extra skincare. So I've actually um, just had a shower, I'm trying to get my hair curlier. Um, encourage the curl. So I've been scrunch drying it as it's got a bit longer because obviously I'm like everyone else, I haven't been able to have it cut. I never have these tufty bits showing at the back, but hey ho, um, we're all in this together. Hence, I've been tying it with a bandana, but I uh, just thought I'd see it. But um, I went through some of my um, makeup kit and came across some some products are actually being um, phased out, but they're still still fun to use. And because I've not been getting a lot of sleep, my dark circles are really looking bad so yesterday I thought I'm going to go back to using the cream to powder products because I really like them and as I say I've got three in a palette from my makeup kit that I use for makeovers and brides and um yeah so I'm just putting my foundation primer on for those of you that watched my videos before or my get readies with me or tutorials know I love my Mary Kay um foundation primer flat grain of rice comes out like a gel goes on like a powder smooths across makes you sorry to disappear i always like to have my um face cloth so i can just wipe my hands so cream to powder goes on very nicely with the mineral powder foundation brush actually um I have tried it with the blending brush again, but it's probably a little bit too heavy because this is a heavier product. So I've actually, when I've had more time in the sun lately, and probably not, I haven't been wearing as much makeup, I have caught the sun a bit on my face. So my um, Ivory 4, I've actually been using the Beige um, 3, only because the Beige 2 is a little bit too yellowy. So... If I put this on, you can see, so this is going to be the ivory four and you can see that's a little, see how that immediately evens out the skin, but it's a little bit pale. So I'm going to use the beige three on this side and literally all I'm doing is tapping it. And you don't want to put so much pressure on the brush, but can you see that where I've caught the sun here, that, that one's matching better. So. Let's have a look, see what the, that's beige too. I'm just playing now to see what the colours. I often find, or I do find, because my T-zone is slightly oily, that my nose and my chin pick up the sun. And it's because I've got a little bit more oil there, which is probably why I've noticed when, without wearing makeup that I've picked up the sun. Because the when I'm wearing makeup, obviously my face, not obviously, but my moisturiser has SPF. Mary Kay moisturisers tend to have SPF 30, albeit we do do them without for those that are um, allergic to SPF. But this has also got SPF 15 in it. So I've already got my sun care on, but my makeup, foundation, etc. always, when I'm out and about, gives me a little bit more protection. But the last few days, I have been spending more time in the garden, whether it's hanging washing out, whether it's throwing the tennis ball, for the boy, for my boy Harley, the dog, or whether it's just five minutes with a cup of tea. So you literally just buff this on a bit like it's a mineral powder, but this is a cream to to powder. And if you've got a blemish, you can always put a little bit more over it. I'm just starting to get a little tiny liver spot there. So there I look a bit more human. Under eye corrector, peach undertone. Hide the dark circles. Don't need as much with cream to powder, so I've just used the excess from this side to go Ring finger has the least amount of pressure. So just gently. And again, I'm just going to go with this because there's still a little bit of the cream to powder. 
so because it's cream to powder it's a powder finish so it will just set and I've just remembered I've actually run out of this I should have brought a new one up with me which is my brow volumizer but what I'm going to do is oh, one of my eyeshadows is broken. having a smashing time and I'm just looking for Okay, I'm going to use my lash primer through my brows. So I'm just going to comb it. Oh gosh, it's got some mascara on it. Don't worry if you make a mistake. This is why it's handy to have the cloth. And I always have some cotton buds. They need, I've just dropped one. They need restocking as well, but they're handy. So I'm just going to comb through. The lash primer, just wear it. I've obviously, it's a clear product, but I've obviously used it over the top of my mascara and it's made the product a bit darker. But what I'm going to do is also just pick up a little bit on the end of my brush. Some of you would have seen me do this with eye primer as well. And I'm going to pick up, see, look, I've broken one of my. But that's all right with Mary Kay I can just take that one little um, individual eye color out and just replace it I don't need to worry about the rest of the colors so I'm just going to pick up some of this espresso which is just a chocolate brown and I'm just going to draw a line can you see that right into the bottom of the brow and then I'm just going to use the comb to brush that up. So I'll show you again on this side. Sorry, I've got my mirror here as well. So I'm just doing a line of colour right in the very, not under the hairs, in the bottom line of hairs. And then just... The other great thing about these little angled brushes is you have got the, well, the shape of your eyebrow so you can just do the, that edge bit that's my brows done you can contour with a darker foundation oh just found my eyebrow I was looking for a minute ago. So I'm now going to use a small sponge dipped in my darkest cream powder and I'm going to put it on just to contour. I don't know whether you can see that very well on here. So I'm just doing it under the cheekbone so from a straight line here from my ear just to the end of my cheekbone here and then a little bit just up so that my cheekbone is here so if I was to use the victory sign and put that finger from my mouth to my lower ear and this on my cheekbone that is the position that I'm putting this and then that lifts it creates a contour underneath the cheekbone and it lifts the cheekbone so again this side you can do it and then what i'm going to do is just blend And then just buff. This is a little bit of powder left on top, brush over the top. And that just warms the cheeks. Probably needs to be done a little bit darker. Let's have a look. I have got here the plastic lids that are causing me that. So what I'm going to do is with a... a uh, I suppose it's a sort of sandy, peachy 
bronzy. I'm going to put it in the same space, so just to make see if I can get it to look a bit darker for you, so you can see it on the video. Any excess you can just take up onto the temple. Can you see that better? So can you see how that lifts the cheekbone on that side? Let's do the other side to match. So again, it looks a bit awkward when I have to hold my right hand on there and do it with my left, but can you see that? And then when I turn sideways, And then I just like a little bit of a highlighter over the top and that just blends that top top line. And if you want to pop a little bit of cheek colour, I always say to people use apricot or peach. This is sheer, so although it looks like a highlighter pen, it's not going to go on. And a little bit just on the cheekbone, see it's not as bright. So just on the apple of my cheek, just to give some warmth and radiance and then just gently dust so that's my cheeks so it's quite simple to map your own face if you've got the two victory signs so your right victory V goes to the left side of your face and your left hand to the right side of your face another way to do it is if you've got a piece of card or a, cut or a postcard type shape is to actually hold that in the position and I always say come from your ear because you don't want the colour too close to your nose. So that's mapping for your cheek colour. We've done eyebrows. Quick and simple. I haven't got the right applicators really. Let's have a go. So taking a light natural eyeshadow this one's just broken on me, so I'm just using, put it over the whole eye, all the way up to the eyebrow. Now, people who know me know I wear a lot of liquid eyeliner, but a tip I use for my clients is you can turn any eyeshadow into an eyeliner and it's quite soft and subtle. So a tiny little bit of eye primer on the back of your hand. You want a narrow brush. So this is our eye smudger brush. You can see it's quite narrow from the side. You can also use on the end of our brow spoolie brush. We also have this slanty one, which is also narrow from the side. Excuse mine, it's a bit, a bit old and baggy now. But So this you just dip in, gently take off the excess, and then you choose a colour of eyeshadow you want to use. So I'm wearing blue today, so I'm going to use this Starry Night, which is a sort of navy blue. Sorry, it's the bits from there. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of those bits and then I can hold this up. So I'm using this blue colour. So what I'm actually going to do is just take a little bit on the very tip of the brush. The Mary Kay colours are high in pigment so you'll pick it, pick up a dab off the excess and then I'm just going to stretch. Now you may want to put your elbow on a surface. Stretch. Gently stretch to hold it taut, not to sort of pull it, and then starting from the outer corner, I'm just going to push it into the lashes. I always start at the outer corner because you actually want it a bit wider there, so it doesn't matter if you get... So can you see what I'm doing? I'm from the outer corner in along the lashes. You can pick up a little bit more powder. You can make sure you've got the primer still. And I also do this in a one-to-one, -one, so where we can do it online from a social distance. Or, and also I do this one-to-one -one 
So if when we're out the other side, you'd like a one-to-one -one session with me, you just let me know. So from the outer corner. If you like a little bit underneath, push it right up into that lower lash line so that it's really thin. Can you see that? Then, using a fluffier brush, I don't know if I've got one, dip it back into the first colour you used and just lightly go right on the edge just so that we blend the top line. You don't want to get a brush and, and go like this over the whole lot because you'll just smudge both colours together. See, I've got a little bit of a smudge here so if I just so it just softens the line and then if it's taken away too much of the colour I quite like bold eyeliner as you know a lot of people who know me know I wear the black liquid eyeliner so that's enough for, for a daytime and then if you wanted to add to it for night time, it's quite nice to get one of these sort of nudie mid-tones, minky colour, and put it in the crease line. So just using the smudger, the eye smudger, again, you can work from the outer corner, just into that crease line. Now, if you haven't got an eye that's as big as mine or an obvious crease line in a one-to-one -one, I will adapt this for your eye shape and you can do that with so that would be a daytime color I'll show you with a darker color so you can see it um, oh gosh that's really dark did I mention the Mary Kay colours are high in pigment? And I've just picked up and boldly put far too much on, but it shows up. It definitely shows up. And it's good if I make mistakes when I'm online because it shows you how I correct it. Then I'm coming back with my original neutral base colour around the edge. As I say, we're not just smudging the whole lot together. Put a little bit more on that lower lid. And then I like to just, you don't want to bring any eyeshadow from the corner of the eye to the end of your eye, this side. So if you if you have, just use your foundation brush, whether it was the blending brush, a liquid brush, or your powder brush to take off that excess. So, mascara, I'm going to use my lash primer. Yeah, you can see there's quite a bit of pigment from my mascara in that. From roots to tips, so looking down, chin out, so you can actually see your lashes from root to tip. If you just flick mascara brush like that, you actually can't see what you're doing. You're only going to catch the end. So you want to stick your chin out, look down into your mirror, and zigzag from root to tip. And if you want to do your uh, lower lashes, the easiest way to do it is to get a mirror and look up. I didn't have a... This mirror is a bit too big to hold over my head. And then my favourite mascara is the Lash Love. So again, root to tip, chin out, zigzag. Don't worry if you get a little bit on your nose.
my lips are very dry at the moment. So I'm going to start with lip primer. Age fighting lip primer. So it helps with all the little lines. Oh, silly me. I just tipped the, <laughs> the broken one all over the floor. I will have to get the hoover out. Oh, there's the cotton buds I dropped earlier. So I just need a lip liner. Just grabbing a dark one so you can see. So starting from your cupid's bow, we're going to do like an X. You see that? So that's how you start. Can you see? Then I'm just going to take it down the side of my lip. And then I, if you colour it in, you'll have a pigment from your liner over the whole of the lip. And then to do the bottom lip, a little dot or a dash in the middle. My lips are a little bit dry. Now, if you have two lip products, you've got three colours. Because you could wear the lip liner coloured in on its own, because matte fat lipsticks are in fashion. And you can wear a colour over the top. Now I've actually, as you can see, gone for quite a bold um, plummy berry liner. Then what I'm actually going to do, oh, I've just realised I've got other lip liners here. Lip liner liners there. That I'm going to get a nude lipstick. So this colour on its own is quite nude. But totally transforms the berry. So good place to always check your um, lipstick is on the tips of your fingers because there's a bit more red in the tips of your fingers, a bit more circulation, so it's near the lip colour. So as you can see, I've got a berry lip liner and a nude lipstick. So two colours, wear them together and I've got a third colour. So can you see the difference? Third colour. So if you've got two and you can do the same with lipstick and lip gloss, you can line your lips put your lipstick on and then a um, little bit of gloss in the cupid's bow in the middle and I'm just looking for a bit of tissue to block my lips but I haven't got any to hand but another tip that stops any lipstick that was going to go on your teeth will come out on your on your um, hand it's not just took the I shouldn't really have done it on that but tissue in there. So hopefully you've got some tips there. And I tried to use bold colours so you can actually see what I'm doing. But, oh, excuse me, um, hiccuping, burping. Try some, if you've got soft colours, whatever colours you've got in your palette. If you're not sure what colours to use, just message me, give me a shout. And we'll have a look at your skin tone, your eye colour. Um, and I'll suggest some colours because once we look at the colour wheel, the complementary opposites make your eyes pop. So if you've got, um, like I've got a sort of greeny hazel eyes, we look at what's opposite the green, which is the warm browns and the plums on the colour wheel, and they're what will make the eyes pop. Okay, so I can explain that to you um, on a one-to-one -one basis. So if you'd like a online tu tutorial, a review of your makeup bag, or you've got some makeup you're not sure how to use, um, I'm happy to do a little online tutorial with you. 
um, it's totally free of charge and if you'd like to try some of the Mary Kay samples or um, you run out of a mascara or lipstick um, I'm still able to get hold of the Mary Kay products so I'm happy to supply those to you anything I can help you with just let me know and you can contact me through janemott.co.uk that's my website uh, ladyjane7 at gmail.com through my Facebook page um, message text call whatsapp lovely to hear from you take care stay safe at home bye now <laughs>